But outside of the courtroom, speakers as this year's Ghanifa Wemi annual lecture have advised Nigerians, especially the Bar Association, to emulate the late lawyer and philanthropist. Correspondent Babajide Lee reports that the event also produced vibrant discussions on whether Nigeria's federal structure is appropriate and if the judiciary isn't under threat. Family members, lawyers, jurists and other admirers of late Ghanifa Wemi again gathered for this year's lecture in his honor. The program, which was the 16th, organized by the Keja branch of the Nigerian Bar Association, ensured that some of Ghanifa Wemi's pupils who have now risen to enviable heights in the profession addressed issues within the judiciary and the nation's federal structure. When the chief justice of a nation is removed from office by the executive upon an ex parte order made at the instance of the executive by a body that is and openly admits to be subject to the control of the executive, then, ladies and gentlemen, it should not be difficult to know that the real times of attack or the military we must look at ourselves before we look at the laws. The laws are made for man, not man for the laws. Mm -hmm. We must have respect for ourselves. Legal practitioners are, however, worried with the implications of the executive not obeying court orders. It puts the independence and freedom of the judiciary officers at risk. And that's what is being said. And uh, why is it being echoed here? Because if Chief Ghani Fabi were alive today, it would be a primary part of the war he would want to fight. I'm not justifying what the executive has done, but if there were petitions against judges, which were just put away as if it didn't mean anything, that now gave the unjustifiable excuse to the DSS to start reading houses. Because we have not been able to solidify our internal regulatory mechanisms, that is what we have now. I mean, judges. Of our, of our judicial system should be very courageous. They should be bold. They should be unbiased. They should be objective. They should apply the law. Ghanifari and Mimi have passed on, but his legacy lives on, and the legal community is now expected to carry on in robust activism for a better Nigeria. Babajideli, STV News, Lagos.